Okay, so what does it mean when my potassium is elevated? Hey there, welcome to Ask the Fertility Experts, a daily Q&A show where we'll be answering your fertility questions. I'm Sarah Clark, founder of Fab Fertile. We specialize in low AMH, high FSH, diminished ovarian reserve, and premature ovarian insufficiency or failure. I will be joined by Dr. Tabitha Barber. She is triple board certified in obstetrics, gynecology, menopause, and functional medicine. If you have a question, simply go to Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram, leave me a DM and drop your question there. And we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's Fab Fertile Inc. on Instagram. Take care. Okay. So what does it mean when my potassium is elevated? This is something that, um, that, that I experienced. And, uh, um, after, you know, taking years of birth control and, um, doing other things that were not great for my body, I had a whole bunch of nutrient, um, uh, mineral imbalances. So what's your take on if, um, we do a blood, we do blood chemistry and find that potassium is elevated. So that's usually an indicator that things are out of balance. You know, our kidneys, one of their main jobs is to filter our blood and make urine. But when they filter the blood, what they're doing is they're shifting our electrolytes around. They're moving our sodium, our potassium, our magnesium, our calcium. All of those important electrolytes are getting shifted to try to keep the balance in your blood because that's the most important to keep you alive. So they, they will do that at the cost of pulling minerals out of your bones, pulling them out of your tissues so that things aren't functioning well, because keeping the blood pH and the blood electrolytes is what keeps you alive. And so your body will steal from Peter to pay Paul, you know, is essentially what's happening. And so I like that you guys do the HTMA testing, the hair testing to check your mineral levels, because sometimes what's going on in your blood is not a true picture of what's going on in the tissues of your entire body. Like I said, your, your blood levels are going to stay balanced. And if you're at the point where your blood levels are getting to the higher low end of normal, if they get out of that normal range in your blood work, you really have an issue. If your blood levels are at the higher low range, that means your tissue is definitely being affected. And if you look at the hair mineral analysis, you're going to see the true picture of what's going on. And it might be that you're sequestering one of these in different areas. So I would love for you to share your story with what happened with you, Sarah. Yeah. So I basically, I did the hair tissue mineral analysis test and the whole thing was lit up. I was like a disaster. And so I did take a number of um, different uh, nutrients. And then, cause I used to get these in the, in the summertime, my feet would swell up like edema. Um, I had, I had a number of different really weird conditions. And then um, and a lot of my issues with it, that was this adrenal piece where they were fried because I just kept going like a crazy person. So as I worked on my mental emotional stress, did take a number of supplements over a target amount of time based on this test. And then, then we, then, then we retested plus that I was on the birth control pill. So it was, um, my, I, my, uh, copper was out of balance. Um, all those things started, started to, to improve. Now it's not some perfect thing the, of, of my health, but it's way better than what it was. I, I was, I have like size 11 feet. And when these things blow up, I'm like, are you kidding me? So I was yeah. just like, what is going on? And my hands would get so swollen. So as I started to address those, 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 those mineral imbalances and also, uh, for me, um, um, and actually with potassium, there was like potassium foot baths. There's a potassium broth you can take, um, doing, you know, celery juice or coconut, uh, water. A lot of those things can be really helpful. So definitely things to do when we have these other little weird symptoms, obviously we're dealing here with a fertility diagnosis, but there's other things in the body as to why it's out of balance. Yeah. And I will tell you your conventional OBGYN, they might check the blood levels of electrolytes, but they're not going to intervene unless you are completely out of range and, you know, obviously sick, they're not trying to optimize your health. And so using something like the hair mineral analysis testing and doing it the way the fab fertile group handles that is 
trying to get you back into optimal health. It's not trying to prevent you from dying. There's a, it's just a completely different philosophy and way of looking at things. Thanks so much for being here. If you've got a question that you want answered, simply go to fab fertile Inc on Instagram, send me a DM and we will answer your question on an upcoming show. That's fab fertile Inc and send me a DM and please refer to our disclaimer below. Take care.